can we cause some grief with as foretold electro dominance today? Let's find out. Welcome back to MTT Dungeon, everyone, for TGIF, and today we are playing some As Foretold Electro Dominance Shenanigans. Uh, so we are playing, let's we'll start off with land base, 17 land, uh, 1 Fiery Islet, 1 Mountain, 2 Pluto Delta, 4 Scalding Tarn, 2 Island, 4 Spire Bluff Canal, and 3 Steam Vents. Our quote-unquote zero drops is 4 Restore Balance. Uh, three ancestral vision and four crashing footfalls. Uh, one drops we have four opt, four sand vision, four lightning bolt. Three drops we have four as foretold, two brazen borrower, two force negation, and four simian spirit guide. Five drops, technically I guess, which are our X drops, is four electro dominance and one finale of promise. And then for our ten drops we have three greater gargadon. So. Ideally, with this deck, what we want to be able to do is um, turn one to spend a greater, gar greater Gargadon, um, turn two, um, either Electro Dominance into a Restore Balance, sacking all of our land and everything else to the Greater Gargadon, that way it sets back our opponent, or being able to do it like turn three and then said like sacking everything. Gargadon's gonna come out quicker, we've taken away land from our opponent and whatever else. Uh, backup plans are like cool. Like here's a turn. Here's turn two. Eight eight power on the board. With the two crashing footballs. Visions just lets us go deeper. Um, play test in this deck. Um, I've had one game where we're just like ha. Like turn four, all of your land are gone. Your hand is gone. Like it was. It was really really good. Um, but uh, so uh, let's talk about our sideboard. We have four leyline of sanctity. 1 Fluster Storm, 2 Mystical Dispute, 2 Ravenous Trap, 2 Anger of the Gods, 2 Blood Moon, and 2 Shatterings Freeze. I mean, a, a big way to beat this deck is, is hand control, so Blade of Sanctity is a very good sideboard option. Uh, typical, like, Shattering Freeze against Artifact decks, Blood Moon against uh, Land Greedy decks, or decks like Tron. Anger of the Gods against Rush decks, Fluster Storm, Mystical Disputes are really good against Control, Ravenous Trap, I mean, Dredge and Uro are obviously big things in the modern meta, so we had to have some plan for that. Alright, so with that being said, let's get into some games. Round one, fight! It looks like we're on the draw, and we could turn one Visions. I think it's keepable. Uh, sacred file, sacred file, sacred foundry, aether vial. Uh, so humans maybe. Uh, all right. is like, hey, can you deal with the crashing footballs turn one? Oh. Oh. Is, is this an immediate just instant concede? I just guess this. Okay. It's nothing too bad, you know, just four four trampling rhinos and then I have a force negation up and a lightning bolt. No, no, no big deal. Turn one eight power on. Oh, and then like I can bolt any creature out of the way, it's gonna be really good. Mm 
giver of runes is fine. Gonna attempt to bolt it now. Alright. Swing for eight. Alright. Flashing the giver. So I'm guessing there's a death and taxes list of some kind. Hmm. I mean, not causing the grief that we normally want, but I mean, turn one eight power. It's pretty good. Squadron. No, right, yeah, you can aether vial one in as well. I guess. Like you can give protection. You're still taking trample damage. Scalding time. You will learn. You still take the trample damage. It's like red, white, so I don't feel like I have to fear anything. Um. Oh, oops, X can't be zero. Helps if you read the cards. Yeah, I need a squadron hawk. All right. Can you gain life? Two squadron hawks in hand plus three mystery cards. All right, there's the concession. All right. Well, I feel like force of negation is not good in this matchup. So it's probably going to be angers. All right. So, I mean, uh, eight eight power turn one is eight power between two creatures. Turn one's pretty good. Seems to have a path. You're still ahead. Hopefully this time we can like uh, turn one, Greater Gargadon, turn two, like start blowing up lands. Mm. I mean, it's definitely keepable. So you can just turn one opt. So we have to worry about uh, Deputy of Attentions and uh, whatever the new one is. I'm blanking on the name from uh, whatever plane that we're on right now. Zendikar. <laughs> the, the apparition thing. It's been a long day. I'm very tired. I'm sorry. I, I apologize for not remembering <laughs> card names, but I know what they do. Stoneforge. Yes. Like, what? What's going on? I'm like, ah, oh, this last one opt. Crashing. Yeah, it's fine on top. Sophie, big surprise there. So 
So let's get a bolt. Put down a scalding turn. Last turn. Next turn. As we're told, spirit guide. Or uh, yeah, as we're told, uh, crashing footballs, not spirit guide. Yep. Visions. Um, I think we just want to fetch, get a mountain fetch. Get our island. As we're told, I think we just cast this because um, whatever creature you play is I. Doubt is going to have pro green. So, is this it from hand? Oh, it does not say from hand. So, we could actually get free things off Brazen Bar both times. Oh, they didn't have a two drop. Oh, that's good for us. I expected something to come down, like uh, a hawk. And there's the concession. All right. So, uh, I mean, we grief just not in the typical way. Round two. Fight. All right. So, looks like we are on the draw again, and this is not a keepable hand. Goodbye. Um, I like this hand. Pretty sure it's the bar where that goes down. We can semen visions. <laughs> uh, nickname for the card. Uh, and they're gonna opt. Okay. Uh, so it could be storm. Could be blue eye control. Could be <laughs> just a number of things. Uh, force is pretty good. Uh. We draw an opt. Uh, so, yeah, both on top. We want to draw the Spire Bluff first. I wonder if this is a mirror match. That would actually be really interesting. A little, a little piece of me hopes this is a mirror match. Just, just, just smidge. Just be like, all right, this is this is what we're playing today. This could also just be a blue moon, but they would typically have more actual islands. I mean, like, we know what we're going to draw. We're going to keep it on top and draw it. I think we just fire off the... Oops, not that one. Let's fire off the bolt here. Because if we happen to cast Restore Balance, we can start ripping cards out of their hand as, ooh, as well. Um... I'm going to grab an additional island just in case. Alright, let's see if they got a force of negation. I guess it's any counter spell. 
delay. So this is probably a Jeskai deck. Maybe? Like, what's the point of them playing delay? Always yield to this. All right. How about a second one? All right, I, I don't know what deck I am playing against. Is this a Charbelter deck? Um... No, it's not Trevor Six. He's playing actual lands. I. Oh. Dang. All right. Okay, he's a he's a Kiki deck. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, on the bright side, we'll be able to take some cards from his hand. And blow. Ugh, gross. Always yield. Um, so we can exile, cast, take the two, electromance for zero. And cast Restore Balance, keeping a force up. It's also for some stack of land as well. Uh, <laughs> Shameless be promoting my own channel. Never. <sighs> Alright. Well, we took a uh, Deceiver Exarch away, so that's at least good for us. We just have to figure out a way to deal with his row is the issue currently. So I get it back now, right? I think so. Yes, yeah, cast it. Like ancestral visions or crashing footfalls is pretty much what I need to find.
Oh, man. Hey, same with self-promotion. So, I mean, we're not dead to combo this turn. Mm. Oh, boy. I mean, we, might, we might just die to a, to a Brawl ult. Um. Oh... Heavy theft. Nope. Yep. Yep. Nope. Oh. Oh, the top draw. No. This happens. No! <laughs> okay. Uh, at that point, I'll concede. Like we we can't mm, raw alts and oh oh it's all the counter all right um, what's the storm so like what isn't good against them uh, I don't think store bounce does a whole lot. Um, so don't think. Force. I think we can drop the. Uh, let's try that. All right. All right. We are on the play. I mean, turn one crashing footfalls. I hear that's pretty good. Yeah, I know, uh, oh, I guess the Brazen Bar as well. But, I mean, like, the, the main idea of this deck is super cheap. Uh, cause I think, uh, Steven's are on, like, a couple ticks each. Spire Bluffs, I know, are a little higher, but again, like, I mean, the mana base you can easily adjust. Hey! Their visions. Um, so we drew another petty theft. So that can go on bottom, that can go on top. This doesn't really max work in the fetch anyway.
grabbing his land. Regular suspend that. Double visions. All right, for a Kiki deck, it's uh, it's pretty good. Um, come back and screenshot that later. <laughs> All right. Da -da -da -da. A, another visions. All right. Well, we drew and asked for told. So both of these are going on the bottom. Not sure what he has turn three that can save him. I guess he could tap block one with, uh, or he could have with uh, Deceiver. All right, game three. Let's see if we can't get stupid lucky again. Uh, no land is bad. Ooh, okay, ooh. Mm. Alright, so... This is one of the more... I <laughs> Alright. That's unfortunate. So after two rounds of that deck, uh, it's definitely not like the griefiest griefer deck, but it's a lot of fun and can just be able to, just to really pull out games early. Uh, thanks for tuning in for this long. Uh, we have some announcements coming up in the next couple weeks that you uh, guys and gals should definitely stay tuned for, and we have uh, some big, big announcements to make. So uh, we will let you guys know what's going on later.